Have you ever wondered how on earth Scar can capture Shimu? The world and the captivated in chains. Well, in this video from Goji Center, we're gonna find out just how Scar King actually did that. Like, subscribe. Let's get on with this. In Godzilla Kong, the new empire, we were introduced to one of, if not the strongest the titan strongest. ever seen in the MonsterVerse, Shimo. Also referred to as a world ender and capable of freezing vast landforms in minutes, how is it then that a scrawny ape with no powers was able to control this weapon of mass so destruction? Long. Today on Goji Center, we will go in depth to figure out this mystery. Thank Solving this puzzle Center. using evidence from the official novelization and the film itself to figure out how this powerful titan fell into the hands of this malevolent simian and lay bare her tragic story. Don't forget to subscribe for more coverage on GXK and your favorite kaiju. Just in case it was too loud. What? Oh, right. <laughs> The first time we ever see Shimo in the oh, film is when Scar King ordered the apes Kong. to drop a massive stone cutting the flow of lava in this massive waterfall, allowing her to come out. Starting from this very moment, we already start to understand the relationship between Shimo and Scar King. So and it apes wasn't and all a good that, one. Makes sense. Here's okay, a good time enough, to explain the how the red there. ape controls oh, this world ender. How did he they uses chain her up? this, a crystal tip on the end of his whip. In the film, Scar King points this crystal at Shimo and then points at his target. Previous to this, Scar King just had a fight with Kong, almost winning, but Kong was able to best him, figure him out, and almost kill him. In fact, uh, the novelization states that as Kong much as was about Kong, to kill the Scar King, and everyone around kind of knew this. Sure. Even Suko noticed that pretty well. After seeing that Kong turned out to be stronger, he summoned Shimo and commands her to kill Kong. In the film, we and see that Kong Shimo lets out a away. loud, angry him. roar, suggesting you know that she didn't really like her living conditions, Best much less just being go controlled run by away. a lesser titan. After being told what to do, she actually shrieks in pain, slamming her head on the floor, inflicting another type of pain on herself, distracting herself from the even worse suffering Scar King yeah. was inflicting. Self -harm. Reluctantly following the orders of the Scar King, as if she didn't really want to do what she was told, but no, you had can always to. tell from her behavior. To better she understand was why Shima was it. being controlled, we first have to study her anatomy a little bit more. Oh, Using yes, some please. of the information gathered from the novel, one thing we learn from this book is that this crystal is suggested to be a part of Shimo herself. Makes More specifically, sense, this long pointy crystal must have been once part of her many dorsal spines. Dr. Hampton, while witnessing the fight in Rio, also made note of this crystal showing the same characteristics of those of Shimo. So, we settled that this crystal most likely belonged to this titan, but what about it gave Scar yeah, that King part control? Makes sense to me. No problem, it would be easy to speculate Scar that Scar King, King held this crystal for ransom, threatening to further damage this crystal if Shimo didn't obey, but this likely wasn't the case. We see that upon wielding the crystal, this has an internal effect on Shimo's mind, and it was very painful. So, this thing had to have been something special. Not just any crystal, but something with, with an ability that turns out to be a common force in GXK. Telepathy. That's right. The book doesn't explicitly state that this crystal had telepathic abilities, but it does say that Scar King controls Shimo using pain. Additionally, we see that titans such as Mothra wow. and Godzilla were able to communicate in this manner, as well as Gia and the Iwi being able to communicate Scar with King each other. Gia in particular could communicate with Mothra via telepathy, Deep an even deeper method of communication than the one she shared with Kong. Additionally, in GVK, we learned that Ghidorah's heads would communicate with each other using this same method. The great apes didn't possess this ability, much less read each other's mind, but they did communicate using rudimentary sounds and signals. So now, back to the crystal. Yep. On one end, we have Scar King, who belongs to a species that communicates with verbal cues and pantomiming, trying to tell a titanic saurian what that to do. So funny. The solution, making physical Kong. contact with this crystal, ensured that whatever thoughts and intentions Scar King had were effectively communicated to Shimo, the original owner of this shard. This shard would then let out a signal that only Shima would understand. But remember, whatever was let out by this crystal wasn't just commands, it was also pain. 
It was explicitly mentioned in the novelization that Scar King had a particular philosophy when it came to ruling over his subordinates. He had become fond of inflicting pain and suffering, yeah, using these that. as a way to get others to do what he wanted. Coincidentally, this happened to be the same exact methodology to get Shimo to do what he wanted. With every command that was conjured in his mind came along with the do it or you'll suffer more effect. Interestingly, there is still more to this crystal that may help us understand its ability. In the novelization, it's suggested that Shimo, at some point during her existence, was actually an Alpha Titan. And this does make a lot of sense. Her ability to freeze entire continents in a very short amount of time, her impressive size and power are attributes of a monster that can easily become and remain an alpha. So she it is. does make sense for these crystals to have served as a way to amplify her alpha signals to other titans as well. After all, we already have confirmation that similar shard it, formations why, are able to send so out signals. Important. Similar to the why, why Iwi crystal that sent out it. the call for it help that both Gia and pieces. Godzilla detected. So yes, this crystal possessed by Scar King kind of was something it. out of the ordinary, and a really strange way to control a kaiju. It was clearly out of character for Shimo to attack someone like Godzilla, Kong, Boom! or any other benevolent titan. Many times throughout the film, we witnessed her roar in anger after Scar King commanded her to do something, laying bare the fact that this whole time Shimo hates Scar King. But this brings another more interesting question. How on earth did the Great Apes and Scar King manage to That's capture Shimo? Capturing the strongest Titan while having no special powers of your own is indeed an impressive feat. It I mean, Scar King, obviously very powerful, strong, but compared to Shimo, nowhere close. Genius and a bit of balls to but accomplish still had this, her and surely control. many apes died in the process but it was attaining the crystal that mattered the most, and then figuring out how to use it and determining that this was Shimo's greatest weakness. This shows how smart For a bit of backstory, let's go was. back to how these apes were trapped down here in the first place. Going back a long time ago, during the Great Titan War, where all apes stood against Godzilla, the titans like him, including the titans controlled by him. Yeah, this was actually a big deal, but Godzilla found a way to solve this issue. It's mentioned that Godzilla trapped the great apes in a subterranean realm, which was basically a giant cave. Here, the power-hungry Scar King and his army of great apes remained isolated, until many years later when Kong inadvertently opened up an exit point. It is here where we can piece together a theory possibly revealing how these apes were able to capture Shimo. It is likely that Godzilla didn't just trap the apes to keep them isolated from the rest of the world. A titan like Godzilla would try to kill them. All of them. So, the act of trapping well, them in a cave was not cell, enough. Like his it was order. likely that Godzilla knew that Shimo was already in the subterranean realm, trapping the apes inside with Shimo knowing that a titan like Shimo would be able to easily kill all the apes, since they really don't do well in okay, the cold that's anyways. One what Never he was not expecting was the fact that the apes were led by this crafty bastard, Scar King. Upon realizing oh, that is. they were trapped with the strongest and powerful titan, there was no other choice but to fight for their lives. We'd like to think that at some point the Great Apes and Shimo had a confrontation, one which inflicted many casualties on lost. the Great Ape army. She Star suffered. King would have either found a way to sever one of the crystals from Shimo, or just found one lying on the ground, and eventually figured out that Shimo would behave funny around him holding the crystal. Here is where an intelligent and astute monster like Scar King would leverage something like this, and ultimately realizing that as long as he held possession of this crystal, Shimo would do his bidding, and at the same time inflict pain if she refused. So in a way, Godzilla's plan to trap the apes with hopes the most powerful ah, titan work. would finish them off ended up backfiring. On the contrary, this act added the strongest titan to their ranks. Shimo would live perhaps tens of thousands of years in captivity, perhaps more, killing innocent titans or facing the alternative, excruciating pain. 
It was only after Suko shattered this crystal in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where Shimo was finally liberated from Scar King's command. Yeah, Quickly um, obeying Godzilla so to finish him off using her frostbite breath. Uh, and Suko quite frankly, it, it just Scar shatters King had it come just, like, explosion. The only good news now is that Shimo now resides with Kong and the Great Apes. In their first confrontation, she never really wanted to kill him. It was Scar King who made her try to kill Kong and countless other apes as well. But the hardships for Shimo have only just begun. Despite living with the benevolent Kong, the knowledge of Shimo had just now been revealed to both oh, Monarch so nice. and even worse, the government. That's right. Upon learning that this monster was actually a world ender, capable of making it snow in Rio out of all places, this certainly turned heads around the world and for the first time warranted military intervention and a total takeover of the Hollow Earth by the military. Yeah, obviously all the military have been set on Shimo now and like humanity now has control. a new target. Unfortunately for Shimo, it seems that despite being one of the most powerful titans, she has always been a target. Target, and perhaps her biggest challenge is yet to begin. Now, whether you agree with the outcome with what Goji Center suggests, a theory of the crystal being used by Scar King, we know that's what it was, but how did he capture it? And the theory of Godzilla putting all of them down below Hollow Earth? It's all theories. We don't know for a fact. What do you guys think? Like, what, what is in your mind? Like, how did Scar King do all of that? In your theory, let me know down below. Like, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.